these things because they're children are dope. But Jaden's kind of MIA. And considering that he emancipated from their household at 16 and refused to come back even to do family interviews. Jaden Smith has been introduced to that kind of lifestyle at Diddy's parties from a very young age. And we all know what happens at those free cuffs parties. Mm -hmm. All y'all niggas in here with these hot ass scuddies on. Hey, yo, yeah. for real, for real. These hot ass beanie caps, get the beanie caps off. Hold on, where my son at? The light skinned dude with the good hair. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> It's one of them. It's one shouts of them. out to Lil Diddy one and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shouts out, shouts out to Diddy's sons who look nothing like him. Uh, it's still in question. <laughs> we don't really know what's going on. Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Don't nobody want to see that shit. Come on, man. Dude, that's what I like. See, because as sons, people don't understand, man. You know, yeah, you guys may have a different life, but at the same time... Give it up for my sons. They know how to articulate themselves. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, we got a lot of stars in the building right now. First and foremost, myself. Uh, let's let's uh, acknowledge that real quick uh, before we get to questions. Shout out to my nigga Fab. Still using the eraser on his Tim's. Uh, what's going on? It's official. We're here. Dirty Money album release party. Last train to Paris. It's crazy. Uh, I decided to switch scenes, got too hectic down there. I'm up here in a hot tub, uh, doing it official, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Trey's up here, my nigga Fab's up here. You know, when you, when you have a scene like this, you gotta bring bosses with you. As you see, it's female friendly. We got a ladies and a female. She's butt ball. Uh, that's what I call it, raw dog. Uh, I'm not jumping, I'm not jumping the tub myself. Uh, you know, once, once everybody gets out, you know, just me and the lady. This is my scene. I'm using this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, oh. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? <laughs> if Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. I hope it was for money because arguing about who's going to put the strap on on is... That can be a very uncomfortable situation. You know. We're going to pray on it. Praise the Lord. You know? Amen. It seems like you can't say no to Diddy the way he's the way he's putting it out. Like, there's a lot yeah. of people like, why didn't he say no? Yeah, that, that, you don't go. <laughs> you, you don't go. <laughs> well, why go? They going to drug you. Please, yeah. You gonna ask for a glass of water, it's gonna be laced with that Tootsie. Let the, let the good times roll. <laughs> like if I knew that there's a possibility that I might get raped and drugged if I go to this party and I go anyway, I just wish they would tell all these little niggas the truth, you know? When they court them with the record deals and the contracts and the chains and the car. Both Will and Jada, Jaden's parents, have attended a few of those parties hosted by Diddy. When you were dating J-Lo, Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a threesome and you were going to beat up Will Smith. Is that true? <laughs> really heard that? No. What? Yeah, yeah, I watched it on, on the internet. You're yeah. telling me I can't believe everything I read? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Jaden in an interview even said that Will Smith would be disappointed if Jaden ever refuses to do something. God knows what this child has been forced to do in his early years. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mill. <laughs> Bashir Gray left that house screaming. August, the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a doll. This wouldn't be a major surprise to us because we've seen them allowing their 13 year old daughter, Willow, in bed with a 20 year old. Arius, he's from Hannah Montana, posted a photo of himself on his Instagram in bed with her. She's, Women, she's 13, he's, he's 20. Women, is he wearing, he's not wearing he's a shirt. He's not wearing a shirt. Um, and people are saying it's a perverted image. Can we say it's meant to look sexual? 
Like, is there any doubt that it's mental or sexual? No. It looks very post-coital. If you, if you want to look at the picture and find something sexual, you can find something sexual. I mean, Jada herself wanted to be free spirit and said she loves experimenting. Is that how Jada ended up in the hands of Diddy? That your husband was doing things to boys and did stuff to your son and you ain't do shit about it. Bilal told me everything. Hmm. Uh. They're 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 good friend who Bilal told me <laughs> Jaden. He told me that you knew Will was in your chair. Yes, he did. Wonder why he left that out of his Tosh K interview. Yeah. Yeah, like, in that interview, he, he said a lot. He said a lot. He said everything but the thing that was important. That he know that Will Smith, Jaden, he went Bashir and he went Neek Mills, and you know it, Bilal. Now you know how far in the desert you run. You'll go from a Philly nigga to a sand, but they'll still get you. Although Jada refers to the whole sleeping with her son's best friend as a situation ship, August says that he poured his heart out into the relationship. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody's, nobody's business. business yeah, but... yeah. But now Black Twitter has claimed <laughs> it as their business. <laughs> but, you know, I... I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. Now, well, in the process, mm -hmm. and like you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did. And it all started with, mm -hmm. you know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for know? me, that was the thing when I, when, um, when Aug first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick, yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found, mm -hmm. you know, too. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was curve. done with you. Yeah. <laughs> We marriages have that though. Yeah, marriages have that. Yeah, we, we decided that we were going to go oh, figure out how to make yourself happy and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, I really felt like we could be over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on mm -hmm. with August. I one... launched into an interaction. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? Mm -hmm. It had been... Right. And it was, I think that has a lot, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in this cycle, just mm -hmm. that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to your health or whether it's your addictions. Mm -hmm. There's something about fixing people mm -hmm. versus, mm -hmm. and taught me that. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like the fact that I'm speaking to you again is a... Uh, <laughs> is a miracle um <laughs> i would agree there's just certain things that you have to go through and it's like and i wish <laughs> i do i wish yeah, that sure, wasn't the hey, case i sure wish it could be all magic and miracles yeah you gotta go you know and i'm just happy there's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what you can't know that until you go until through through some stuff, you know? I don't want to go through this no more. I'm gonna get you back first. <laughs> I think you, <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. um, and I don't think it's about- No, for me it is. Um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> that's what you want. <laughs> uh, um, but, you know, I will definitely say, you know. 25 years and counting. Mm, we, we die, die together. together. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just. I told you the first year we were were married, I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. And as for Jaden, there's always been word 
that he's on the DL, and if you're uncultured, that means Jaden Smith sleeps with other men. I feel like I just want to say Tyler, the creator, is the best friend in the world, and I love him so fucking much. And I want to tell you guys something. I want to tell you, Tyler doesn't want to say, but Tyler's my motherfucking boyfriend, and he's been my motherfucking boyfriend my whole fucking life. Tyler, the creator, is my fucking boyfriend. It's true. Oh. But Jaden's kind of MIA. And considering that he emancipated from their household at 16 and refused to come back, even to do family interviews. You know? Yeah. Willow's just kind of, she's dope. I just, too much shit happened in that house. Tyler, Tyler said that he didn't really like my last album. I love wow. that he said that. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I'm, yeah. I love that he said that too. Yeah. Kept it real. Um, yeah, he really kept it real. Did, so. did you ever just kind of like, did you take it or were you like, man, all you? No, no, no. I wasn't like that. <laughs> okay, I, okay, just I, I was just more like, yo, tell me why. Mm. Like, help me. Then get in the studio. Then be a mentor for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, then, then really help me. Then boss up and really be. A Does big it bro. hurt a little bit because it is Tyler and you look up to him, or you you understand where it's coming from? No, I mean I totally understand where it's coming from, and it's really helping me make this next album. But then I also think back, it's like, how mad am I gonna be if he really put me on his album? Like, he can't hate me. Like, I'm on his album. Right, right. You, know what I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, so I was just like, I right, okay. I'm, Cool. I'm going to take it, but I'm also yeah. going to take this little grain yeah. of salt. Yeah. With so nothing bothers shit. you? What bothers you? Um, racism doesn't bother you. Bad words don't bother you. What bothers you? I hate, uh, I hate frauds and pretentious people and like, I don't know. I hate people who's not comfortable with themselves. That scares me. You hate phonies? Yeah. I hate people who don't really like what they like. What do you mean? For, um, for example, like, it's, it's, uh, like, people who don't really, like, you don't really like that. You just, like, I, I've known people who like only like stuff because either I like it or it's the cool thing to like or things like that, and that's, these people aren't comfortable with themselves. Thing to do. Like, yeah, like, like, they'll base their opinion off someone else's opinion because they don't want to be like the odd man out. Like, that's what scares me. Man, I don't that, like that. Uh, that puts so much, like, dude, you don't like that goddamn shirt. Why did you wear that? Because it's the tight thing right now. You don't even look comfortable. You think we'll ever have a gay rap artist? Maybe Open one day. Gay. That would be, but that's like, why does that matter? I know. Like, if he want to dudes or whatever, why does that matter? Like, why do we care? I've never like, figured that's that out. that's so fucking crazy. Bieber, uh, was grinded on from behind outside of a kiss. Did Shouldn't have did none of that. <laughs> Dude, You're you feel asking like me about secret homosexuality. Dude, I'm Illuminati to the core. <laughs> to the core. <laughs> to the core, bro. I'm not gonna play with this game that we're playing. It's like, bro, they shouldn't have kissed. <laughs> so should people be aware cameras are on? Like cameras Jaden are on. Jaden Smith is gay. Oh. His first lover was Tyler, the creator. We all know he got mad when Tyler, the creator, cheated on him. He got out there and then Will was like, you're my son, bro. You can't be, you can have your feelings, but you can't be out here like that. He stopped it, shut it down, dig it. This is not for people to take lightly. You know, if you're gonna be homosexual, be homosexual. You're gonna be a thug, my it's gonna take a lot more than Tupac. Me and Flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. Take they ass when it's fucking on, come on. Yeah! Hey, ASAP Rocky, shake that ass. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> shake it on Jaden, he next to you. He might like it with his weird ass. That nigga is, bro. Daddy dead. Right here, a Justin Bieber pillow. Oh, shit. Would there ever be a Tyler pillow? Oh, I'm going to take this home, though. It wouldn't be the first time I laid on him. Ba-boom! <laughs> ba uh, uh, notice, he's very daring, isn't he? Some 
hair as well. Yeah, you could pluck it. He was a baddie. I was. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click that small bell button to receive a notification for the latest tea.